What's up, Prize Five fans? I'm Brian Tong, and normally we face off pocket-friendly products, but in today's battle, we're going large. It's a throwdown showdown between Apple's 20-inch iMac and Sony's own 20-inch contender, the JS250J. Our judges for this fight are bringing it from the NYC. We've got senior editor Rich Brown, associate editor Justin Yu, and yours truly. Now we'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Which all-in-one is going to get it done? We're going five rounds. First round is design. The Sony Vio might have a plastic body and stand, but the machine looks classy overall. It comes in multiple colors for your color coordinators, and I like the design. But then you look at the iMac, and you just can't stop staring. Its all-metal body is striking. It manages to dwarf the Vio at the same time, and after all this time, its competitors still haven't come close. Apple's iMac hits hard with a 5, and the Vio gets a 3.3. Next round is featured. Sony's bringing Blu-ray to this fight, and it's the only all-in-one on the market to do so. Plus, you're getting twice the amount of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive standard. The iMac has no Blu-ray, it has Bluetooth unlike the Sony, but with storage being so cheap, 320 gigs is pretty puny. Now sure you could download HD movies through iTunes, but you can also do that on the Vio. Sony throws a perfect blow of its own with a 5, and the iMac gets a 4. After averaging two rounds, the iMac leads by three tenths of a point. Next round is performed. There's nothing to hide here. The iMac dances all over the Vio, beating it out in three of our four major tests. Now, compared to every other all-in-one, Sony ended up last in three of the four tests, and the iMac more than doubled it in our most telling one, multimedia multitasking. It's a unanimous decision for the judges. The iMac gets a perfect five, and the Vio gets a three. These guys will be used a whole lot, and energy efficiency matters. Next round is green. Both of these machines are Energy Star compliant, and although the Vio costs less than two bucks a month to use and just under 20 bucks for the year, it just isn't as efficient as the Mac. Now, Apple's 20-inch iMac is the greenest all-in-one desktop on the market. It'll cost you less than $13 per year, and it's the most efficient computer we've tested to date. The iMac scores its third perfect round with a five, and the Vio is still respectable with a four. So after averaging four rounds, Apple has really taken control, leading by a full point. Does Sony have anything left in the tank? The final round that decides it all is value. The Vio can be found for under $1,000 online, does everything you'd expect with a computer, and comes with a Blu-ray drive for home entertainment. Apple's iMac pricing stays pretty firm at $1,200 wherever you look, and all-in-one newcomers bring even larger screens with comparable prices these days. Sony takes the final round with a 5 to give it a fighting chance, and Apple gets a 3.7. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a battle where Sony scored two perfect rounds, but Apple bested them with three, the iMac holds on with a 4.5 and is your prize fight winner. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight.